Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, put some laundry detergent in, into your front load washer and how you measure it out. I'm showing this. Uh, this is a non-HE laundry detergent, which you can use as long as you're careful about how much you put in. I mean, most uh, washers will these new uh, high efficiency washers will try to tell you that you're only a, you should only use high efficiency detergent but I've been using this stuff since we've got the, the machine and I've had no problems with the over sudsing as long as you're careful how much you put in I think the only reason they uh, try to scare you into the HE stuff is they want to use the same containers and same caps but you add more water to the uh, cleaning product and charge you the same amount if not a little bit more uh, I've been using non HE detergent in my in my front load and I've had no problems at all and today I'm going to show you how to how the best way it is to measure this out uh, as you can see it's a big scoop but I, usually what I do is I'll get a, just get a scoop it's, this one's powder and it's, it's basically the same thing for a liquid just don't use as much uh, I'm gonna pause a moment here to reset the camera Now I'm going to add the detergent to the cup. I usually just kind of put a little bit in there. That's about how much. That's about how much soap I put in there. This one's this one's the OxyClean. About like that. Uh. And that and what you can see in there, that's about how much powder. I use for the front load machine and I never get over suds. This is the detergent cup for liquid. You take that out to be able to use the powder. Uh, this is about how much uh, fabric softener I start with. Add a little bit of water. It helps it empty out of the cup faster. Easy, out, of the, out of here easier. And that's basically how I measure my uh, my soap. That's about about all you all you need in the, in these front loads and front load machines. And you just push it in, and I'll start the machine. I'm gonna pause for a little bit here now. Okay, I started the machine with that measurement in there. I'll bring you back on once it starts. Right now it's just going through its initial startup routine. This machine uh, automatically detects uh, how much clothes is in there to, to be able to adjust the uh, amount of water that it puts into the drum. And so it tumbles it a little bit to uh, find the weight of how much is in there and it should start here in a moment
I don't know if you can hear here the water's now adding. I'm running on a on a normal wash cycle. Even even before I always like the extra rinse. But this will be just fine if you don't want to use the extra rinse. This machine will add its water as it, as it needs to. What I'm trying to show you here is uh, that even though I'm using a, a non-HE detergent and a little bit of OxyClean, that's, that's the products I use. Don't worry about the little blue thing. That's for my little sidekick washer which I'll show you how to measure that when I use it next time but this is just to show you a little bit that, that I have no problems with oversuds As you can see it added as you can see it added all the detergent. Just adding a little bit more water because uh, as the the clothes absorb the water, it'll uh, keep adding water until it does it until everything's wet. You might have to adjust a little bit with these if you ha if you have a a bigger washer than I do or a smaller washer than I do. This one's the uh, 4.7 cubic foot model. Model. If you uh, have a larger mo model, then you might have to add just a slight bit more but never use the uh, full amount that you would normally measure in, a, in an older non-Ichi machine or else you will have sudsing problems. Sorry about the glare. As you can see, there are some suds, but it's not overpowering.
My washer just happens to be the LG model. As you can see, I am not getting a lot of suds. I'm getting some, but that's normal. Even with HE, you'll get some. But this is how you can uh, get away using the uh, the cheaper detergents. And they will last a lot longer than the HE ones will using the same amount that the other ones don't do. As you can see, the suds are not just pouring up and coming up out of the drum. I mean, you can use a little more, a little less, but never use the full amount that you normally would in a regular machine. But as you can see, you can get away using non-HE detergent in an HE washer. So don't don't fall for the uh, hype of uh, that's going to cause problems in your machine. Uh, I w if your machine is still under warranty, I would not recommend doing this. As uh, from what I've heard, uh, using the wrong detergent can void your any warranties you might have on your currently on your machine. But if it's out of warranty, then it really doesn't matter. As you can see, I don't have no problems using this detergent. And the suds that are there is just because the, of the machine splashing water around. There you can actually see down into the drum itself. As you can see, it is not being inundated with suds. If you follow these tips, you should be able to get away using whatever detergent you want. Just make sure you measure accordingly and use a, a lesser amount than you normally would in your old machine. I hope this helps. I thank you for watching this video. And I hope it helps you. Uh, have a good day. God bless.